All right, post-practice players talk on this red level video from Locked On Ole Miss podcast. Thank you very much. I'm Stephen Willis. Um, we had Aishim Young, J.J. Henry, and J.J. Pegues that all spoke with the media today. We'll tell you exactly what they did and let you hear from them themselves. So this is the Locked On Ole Miss podcast. You are Locked On Ole Miss. Your daily podcast on the Ole Miss Rebels. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. All right. Welcome to the Locked On Ole Miss Podcast. I'm your host, Stephen Willis. We are post practice, the players talk. We're going to hear from them in just a minute, but just right quick, I seem young. Um, th- is very much happy with um, his defense, and he thinks the defense can be the best in the SEC. Um, J.J. Henry said everything's going to be fine on his touchdown passes and everything going on these first two games. He just needs to slow down a little bit. And J.J. Pegues, he said he channeled Robert Kimdichie when he threw up the fin against um, – Troy in Central Arkansas, and he's looking forward to throwing them up a bunch more as well. So, it looked really good. Anyway, I do want to say thank you for making the Locked On Ole Miss podcast your first listen every day. We are free and available wherever you get your podcasts as well. So, it's really cool. But before we get started, I do want to tell you about Upside. From cringing at the pump to an eye-popping check at your favorite restaurant, inflation is hitting us all where it hurts, and it really hurts. That's why we started using Upside. Upside's an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, grocery, or, or dines out. With every purchase, I'm earning cash back thanks to Upside. So what you need to do to get started, download the free Upside app. Use promo code LOCKED, one word, and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on, on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, and get paid. In comparison to credit card rewards and loyalty programs, you can earn up to three times more cash with Upside. Upside users are more earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why we have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. So download the free Upside app. Use promo code LOCKED. To get $5 or more cash back on your first $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more using promo code LOCKED. All right, again, thanks for making the Locked On Almost podcast your first listen every day. We are free and available wherever you get your podcast, including iTunes and Spotify. Leave a five star review on there. You can say whatever you want to say, just make sure it's a five star review. Even if this podcast is not your cup of tea, leave a five-star review because just because it's not your cup of tea, it could be somebody else's and this will help people find it in the future. So we'd appreciate it if you would do that. Anyway, Aishim Young talking about how the defense can be the SEC best and J.J. Henry thinks the same thing really about the offense. Even with the quarterback situation, I said all the pieces are in place for this offense to be really good and J.J. Pegues is burning through tickets for home games, as you can imagine, being a hometown kid. This press conference and this Players Talk episode was actually really cool because you got some insights, especially J.J. Pegues talking about Jared Ivey, who was on here yesterday, talking about how locked in and focused he is this week. He's still himself and whatever, but you can tell this game means a whole bunch to him. It's really cool. But without further ado, let's hear from the players. Um, Aishim Young. J.J. Henry, J.J. Pegues. Anyway, we'll see you later. Um, I felt like it went great. I could have definitely played better the first game. Even the second game, I think every game I could improve more and more. So, But I think it definitely was a good experience. Um, I think it translated well. Um, I'm starting to implement all like the schemes we're doing out on the field. Well, as of like so far, um, I haven't had much success because I've been like speeding the game up. But now I know, like, after watching film, I just got to slow it down and just go at my own pace, and I know I'm going to make some plays. Um, I think it's been good. Just um, CP has really um, just really put in a good scheme for the D-line, and I feel like the first two weeks uh, we really just showed bits of things that we could do. 
And I can't wait to see what he got uh, for this week. Um, you said where so that I can improve? I think um, my tackle, I missed a tackle the first game. I had one missed tackle. Um, I had an opportunity to have an interception for his game. Um, so a lot on like knowing where routes coming. So I think I lock in on more on film. Um, it really just, I think practice. Practice, like going against those guys is just fast pace, fast pace. And then going in the game, you're thinking, oh, I got to go faster. I got to go faster. But then that's what I was doing. So now I realize that I just got to go at my own pace. Yeah, sir. I know um, I usually grab about four tickets. We all get four tickets. So I really been asking all the other players for tickets. I know I probably had like 20 some tickets for my family, but it's been surreal, you know, just being in the moment, taking it all in and just having fun out there. Um, it's great. When we when we make plays together and we just look at each other and smile, you know, we like grew up together down there from the same neighborhood, the same city. So it'd be a great feeling knowing you're on the field with somebody that's cut just like you has got the same mindset as you. Um Honestly, I don't think it affects us as much as people think. Um, they're both doing well. Um, like I said in the uh, last interview, neither one has really the upper hand in my, in my eyes. So I think they're both doing well. Yeah, so I say so. I, um, Coach CP called a great call, put um, us in a great situation, and um, I just made the play. And um, I didn't really know what to do. And I usually see um, on TV, um, like Kim DJ you know, throwing up land starts. So it was a surreal moment again. and. Just can't wait to throw more. Yeah, definitely. It was, yeah, definitely. It was everything I was imaging. I mean, Tashin was telling me everything already, like how I was going to be. So I wasn't surprised by none of it. But it definitely was a great feeling. Um, I think it's all about focus. Um, even though we have a talented group, we're not really much as competitive, like, oh, I want these snaps, I want these snaps. Like, we're, we look at it as, oh, we're getting better. Like, this guy goes in, there's no drop off from like the starters to the second group, there's no drop off. So, I think we look at it as um, like we're just a, a team. Um, he really just take the um, small things and take the little tips and reminders that Coach um, Jordan give to him. And I really feel like he's a big part of what we got going. And I really just love how he just takes everything, like whoever our opponent is, he takes it like if they want to know every day. So um, I'm just trying to have a better game than last game, like with everybody trying to know what's coming. Locking in more on film and just trying to improve every game. I think I think we're the best offense in the country, and I think we can be. Um, I think we have all the weapons, starting from the O line, quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, running backs. I think we could be the best in the country. He really been quiet, um, but and more locked in than I ever seen. But he um so his goofy side now and then. <laughs> oh yeah, we very confident. I think we. Everybody think we the best defense in SEC for sure. Um, I I think I misjudged the ball. I, I should have went up and attacked it like a like I should have instead of letting it drop. But I wanted that one back, and I, I know I'm gonna get it back. So <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised. Um, he comes to work every day. You know, he got a little twitch to him which he used against the O-line, which is why he get all the um, tackle for losses and the sack. So I'm really just waiting to see what he really uh, really do versus Georgia Tech. And I really think he'll just do the same.